Hi YouTube, um, Isaac here, and I'm going to take this off because it makes me look fat, and I get to show off my awesome X-Men shirt, because X-Men are amazing. They are. So, um, we're going to start off today, start off today, or today, sorry, with a uh, quick fact. Um, every 19 minutes, somebody in the U.S. is killed, um... Not by gunshots, not by marijuana, not by, you know, drug over overdose, other than prescription drugs. Prescription drugs kills ev somebody every 19 minutes in the U.S., and that is horrendous. It's horrible. So, that's a fast fact. Um, uh, so, as you can tell by my voice and everything, and I'm going to move this slightly over, and myself as well, because it's not, e my OCD kicks in, I need even on each side for this mat that's here, there we go, so, so, let's see, let's see if we can't do kind of like a side angle, how about that, so, <coughs> um, as you can tell by my voice, I have been uh, irrevocably sick the past few days, um, so much so that I actually slept in until 6.30 the last two mornings, and today till 5.30. Actually, it was about 6, um, at the shelter, and you, you have, to, you have to realize that I hate being there, well, it's actually over there, that way, um, well, you get a nice view of the, um, very, uh, Louvre-esque library right here, it's nice, it's nice, right? So, um, but yeah, I've been sick, and, you know, thanks to, well, thanks, not good, that's good, thanks to my last video, I kind of know why, um, meth actually degrades your immune system, um, and what I, what I, what I mean by that is, you know, a normal healthy person has around a thousand white blood cells, a thousand to fifteen hundred white blood cells in their bloodstream at all times. Um, fluctuating, you know, between maybe thirteen, you know, maybe nine hundred to seventeen hundred. It all depends. So, um, and that is the sign for depend, I know, right? It all depends. Um, <clears throat> that said, Hard drugs, such as methamphetamine, heroin, uh, stuff like that, can actually cause those numbers to decrease substantially. So, um, it's no wonder I got sick. Sick. Um, but I'm getting better. I am. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm keeping this on because it's better for me to talk to you through this rather than through the microphone on the phone. So that way I don't have to shout at my phone kind of nice, um, now, and there's some more OCD, uh, gotta get this guy in there, there we go, okay, um, that said, um, oh, oh, he's dusting the, um, escalator, go figure, right? That said, um, I want to talk to you about what's going on in Congress and the Senate today. Um, well, first off, I want to talk about the shooting that happened in Virginia. Um, a, uh, a Republican softball team. Yeah, you, you heard it right. Softball uh, team was out playing um, softball, obviously, and uh, a, a man who proclaimed to be the, uh, I guess, the downbringer or whatever of Trump uh, opened fire on their softball team, uh, injuring, I believe it was seven people, including a congressman. Um, now... Do I feel bad? No, I don't. Why? Because this Republican senator, or congressman, sorry, there's a difference. There is. There's like 380, 
four uh, congressmen or some I don't know it's like 500 something 542 something like that um, congressmen and only a hundred senators um, this congressman voted to allow um, people with you know pre-existing mental health concerns you know conditions to buy guns he did and then this crazy person decided, hey, I'm going to go shoot up a Republican softball team. I'm going to go do that. <coughs> the man in question does have documented, um, uh, have a documented case of uh, mental illness. Um, so, uh, honestly, this congressman brought it upon himself. He did. Um, rather than now at the same time the same congressman has voted to repeal uh, the the Affordable Health Care Act um, the ACA uh, or the uh, I'm sorry the AC yeah the yeah yeah I know that I can't remember what the what the letters stand for though one of my fellow homeless people is here with me um, she just showed up uh, but he, he, uh, God, my nose has been leaking all morning. Um, he did vote to repeal the ACA, which would provide this shooter with, um, mental health assistance. So not only did he ask for the shooting by basically saying, yeah, go ahead and have a gun, but he all, he's also asking for more by taking away mental health care for millions of people, myself included. Now, we're going to move on to the main topic of our, of our video today, and that would be um, Senator Harris. Senator Harris is an amazing black woman, um, African-American, whatever, you know, you know what I mean. Um, own your titles, people. Own them. Um, but she's an amazing african-american woman who is fighting 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 for my health care now what do i mean by that i mean that i'm on medicaid i am and because of that i'm able to afford my my medication which um with without this medicaid would cost me uh roughly a thousand dollars per pill yeah that's right my HIV drugs uh, they cost a thousand thousand dollars per pill and on top of that um, my mental health care um, uh, would go out the window as well uh, um, and I'm so sorry for wiping my nose again. You should see this thing. It's covered in my snot. It's disgusting. Oh, God. But without the, the ACA, I would not have access to the mental health care or the health care that I'm pr being provided by my doctors at Harborview Medical Center. They are a great staff. They are. Um... I wouldn't be able to get the care that I needed. I wouldn't be able to afford my medication. I wouldn't be able to afford anything. And Senator Harris has actually come out in Congress and said, you know, I realize what you people are doing. I realize, and by you people, I mean Republicans. I realize what you Republicans are doing. You're trying to make us look the other way while you create a document in a back room somewhere and then pull it up for a vote very last minute. And we can't let that happen. We can't. The ACA provides health care to one-sixth of the American population at this point. And it's rising steadily. It's continuing. It's continuing to go up. And honestly, honestly, it's needed. Socialized medicine is, it's not, it's not a... It's not something that you can say, oh, yeah, um, maybe we should have it. Um, it's something uh, that 
um, is needed. It's necessary. Um, if you want your people to live long and healthy lives, you have to give them this. And yeah, it may need to be subsidized by the rich. Oh well, they already have enough. It's, it's unfortunate, you know, I'm sorry that I have to pull, you know, a couple million out of your billions of dollars, but, you know, you as a person should sit there and say, you know what, some of my employees might need this, so I may as well get behind it. So, that's, that's my video for today. I'm going to go relax and try and get over this damn cold. I fucking hate it. Um, and uh, I will talk to you guys probably at Pride, because it's next weekend. It is. It's on the 25th, and I can't wait. I'm going to get my uh, beard cut uh, tomorrow by my friend, and then um, he may do some coloring as well. So I will see you later. God, I'm getting tied up in all this. I will see you later, and uh, remember, always stay gold. Bye.